Today I'm going to show you how to clear the cache on your iPhone. This is mainly because the cache usually takes up unnecessary space, as sometimes it holds files we no longer need, and they just keep piling up, filling up our iPhone storage. Plus, over time, this can slow down our phone's performance in one way or another. So, with that said, let's get started. Throughout this tutorial, I'll give you several tips and show you how to clear this cache. But first, why is it so important to clear this out? Alright, I'm going to show you something so you can grasp how much space we're losing or how much it's slowing down our iPhone. If we go into settings, we see our user info and everything. Let's head over to general and then to iPhone storage. Here, it will start loading the amount of space we have. Since this iPhone is 64 gigabytes, it doesn't have much space, so we need to keep deleting stuff. If we scroll all the way down through these options, it shows us system data, and it's loading how much system data we have. What you need to do is check how much space is taken up by this. If we go into system data, it says we have 5.22 gigabytes used, and it mentions that system data includes caches, logs, and other resources used by the system. This value changes based on the system's needs. So, go check how many gigabytes you have here, and you'll see that often it takes up 16, 20, 30, 40, 50, or 60 gigabytes, depending on the user and how much they use certain apps that require caching data. Now that we understand the scale of this, and that it's really taking up a lot of space, let's see how to clear it out. For example, one of the biggest culprits for cache usage is usually browsers. And as we know, the main browser on Apple's iPhone is Safari. So if we go to settings and scroll down, we'll look for Safari. As we can see, we scroll almost to the bottom and go to advanced, where we'll find website data in the first tab. We'll click there, and we can scroll down to see all the data taking up space. As you can see, I have website data that I'm not even using anymore and don't need because I don't visit those pages anymore. For example, the first one is from an airline flight, but I'm not going to access that because I'm not traveling. So I can easily delete the data from all these apps and websites that are taking up space. We can also choose to delete all the data, but we also have the option right here when we enter Safari to clear history and data. By doing this, we'll automatically delete the history we just saw, as well as cookies and other browsing data. The important thing to understand is that when you enter new pages, the first time you access them, it might take a bit longer to load again because that's what the cache and cookies are for, to remember all the options we've selected. That's why sometimes when we enter a website, it asks us to allow cookies. On this website, uninstall apps to free space, keep data, in settings, go to iPhone storage, tap App Store. The next thing that's really helpful is when we're here on our phone, we can delete or uninstall apps. I'm going to show you the difference. When we go to settings, then to general, and again to iPhone storage, as I mentioned earlier, we see all these apps. Maybe you're one of those people who want to do a dopamine fast or take a break from these kinds of apps, so you can do the following without having to uninstall them. Let's say I don't want to use Snapchat anymore, but I know I want to come back to it in the future. So if I go to Snapchat, it gives me two options. The first is to uninstall the app, and if you read the bottom, it says this will free up space used by the app while keeping your documents and data. If the app is reinstalled, it will recover all your data if it's still available in the App Store. So this is for something temporary. If we want to uninstall it, or there might be video games we played at some point but don't play anymore, and we want to leave them in the past but don't want to delete all their data, we don't want to remove the app. As you can see below, it says this will delete the app and all its related data from this iPhone, which can't be undone. So instead of deleting the app, what we can do is simply uninstall it. We tap there, select uninstall app, and this will also clear all the cache we have from those apps. So the idea is for you to come here and choose one by one those apps that you might not use anymore or want to stop using for a while. Because even if we're not using it, like, I don't want to use that app because it takes up too much of my time, it could be TikTok, and the same thing happens. It turns out that in the future, I want to use it again, but I won't have the data or everything I had saved. So I proceed to uninstall it and not delete it. After this, we have the next step, which is to clear the cache of the App Store. What does this refer to? 
Well, in the App Store, we often spend a lot of time if we're looking for video games or if we have memberships to play their exclusive games or any app we're searching for. So, if we want to clear the cache of this app, which is where a lot of it accumulates because it's the main app store, all we need to do is in the bottom section, in any of the options, like today, games, apps, or arcade, we can tap 10 times in a row, and it will automatically clear the cache. For example, here in today, I just select here, and you'll be able to see the number of taps, so I select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. With that, we won't see any message pop up, and it won't show that the cache has been cleared or anything like that. But trust me, this does effectively clear the App Store cache at least. So, this is the next step. Now, moving on to the next one, what usually takes up the most space are social media apps or chat apps like WhatsApp and Telegram. All those apps that definitely have a chat feature, sending images constantly or sending videos, files in general. For this example, let's take Telegram. When we're in settings, we'll see the following, and we'll find data and storage. Let's go in there, and as you can see here, where it says storage usage, it's using 316.9 megabytes. But believe me, at one point, I've used a ton of gigabytes, even 20 gigabytes, just from receiving videos, images, documents, PDFs, everything. Because the purpose of this kind of social network is precisely to chat and send stuff. While, for example, Instagram also uses this but it does it through posting photos. Let's say the DMs, the chats aren't really for sending documents and all that, but just photos that hardly take up space. Meanwhile, in Telegram and WhatsApp, what gets sent the most are these types of files. And generally, when you check the cache, the highest amounts are in apps like WhatsApp or Telegram. So here, we would just tap where it says clear all cache, but we need to keep in mind that this will delete absolutely all the videos, files, photos, and others. So what happens here is that we need to download those files and put them somewhere else. And even if we have a conversation with someone and that person sent us a PDF document, we can delete it. But we just need to go back into the conversation with that person, and that file will automatically show up for us to download. But we don't have to download the entire history of files. We just download that specific file, and that's it. We'll recover it. But to avoid any issues in the future, it's best to do a thorough search of all the files, documents, photos, videos, etc. that are important to you, just in case, in case something goes wrong, well, we already have them. Having it backed up on Google Drive, OneDrive, or any cloud service where we can access that file 100%. Let's clean up TikTok, a social media app many have filled with files. Open TikTok, go to your profile, click the three lines, and select settings and privacy. Scroll down to free up space and clear the cache. This won't affect TikTok's functionality or algorithm. It's just clearing storage. Do this for all apps, but focus on those taking up the most space. Go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, and check your apps. For example, TikTok takes up a lot of space. Uninstall and reinstall to reset the cache. Check top apps like Telegram and uninstall if needed. For apps like Binance, which you don't use much, Uninstall to free space. Generally, apps with the most cache take up the most space. Check each app for options to clear storage. If not available, uninstall and reinstall. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Leave an iPhone or Apple emoji in the comments if you enjoyed it. See you next time, etc. What we're going to do is focus on the apps that are taking up the most space because otherwise, we'll just end up deleting a little bit of space that won't help us at all. So, we need to go back to settings, like I showed you before, which is general, then iPhone storage, and then check out all the apps we have. For example, I have an album called Recent that I could easily delete, and that's taking up some cache too. But as you can see, I have a huge amount of space taken up by TikTok. So, if I had deleted the cache from TikTok, it would still be just as high because TikTok only shows me part of the cache. What I can do in this case is uninstall the app and reinstall it to reset the whole cache situation. But like I was saying, if I scroll down deep into this and check messages, for example, it only takes up 5.7 megabytes. So why would I bother deleting that if I'm not gaining anything in the end? What I can do is look at the top apps, like Telegram, which is another app that's being used a lot. So I can uninstall the app and then reinstall it later. If it has any errors or anything like that, I just delete it and reinstall it again. 
Like I was saying, for example, this Binance app, I don't really use it much. I just have it there, but it's taking up a lot of space on my phone. Generally, the ones that take up the most cash are the ones that will take up the most space overall. So you can come here and check them out one by one. What you can do is, for example, with this Adhativa app, go into the app and see if there's any option like the ones I showed you that says free up space, clear storage, cash, or something like that. If it doesn't say that, then just uninstall the app and reinstall it. When you reinstall it, all that accumulated space within the app will be freed up. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. We'll see you next time. Remember to leave an emoji of an iPhone or an Apple in the comments if you like these kinds of videos. See you, bye bye.